Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen, scholars. It's my pleasure to formally welcome you on behalf of We Energies and Wisconsin Public Service Foundation and the WIAA. I extend a very special welcome and congratulations to the young men and women who have the distinction of being the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association Scholar Athlete Statewide Award winners for 2024. This year, we celebrate 41 years of the WIA Scholar Athlete Awards program. When this program first began back in 1984, under the direction of retired executive director emeritus Doug Chickering, it was the first such program in the nation to recognize on a statewide basis outstanding high school athletes who have also distinguished themselves in the classrooms. The young people we honor today are members of what we like to think of as the most prestigious all-state team in Wisconsin. I'd like to take a moment now to introduce our first speaker, Stephanie Hauser. Stephanie is the first female executive director of the WIA. She was a three-sport athlete at Anago High School. She then went on to the University of Wisconsin Superior, where she was named the team captain and MVP of a women's volleyball team, and also played basketball and softball there. Stephanie earned a bachelor's degree in secondary chemistry education at UW-Superior, followed by a master's degree in educational leadership from Marion College. Stephanie served as the athletic director at Stevens Point Area Senior High School and New London High School prior to coming to the WIA. She became the sixth executive director of the WIA in 2021. Will you please help me welcome Stephanie Hauser. All right, we're gonna try to get this a little closer. Is that better? Can you hear me okay? Good, thank you. All right, well, I would first of all just like to welcome all of you for coming today. A special thank you to our partners, WE Energy Foundation and also the Wisconsin Public Service Foundation for helping to make this such an incredible event for these young people. Please give a special round of applause for not only Tom Shafransky, but also his assistant, Deb Leepak, who have put in a lot of hard work to make this event amazing for all of you. Before we continue for this day of praise for these amazing 32 student athletes, let's first take a moment for all of them to recognize those who came to support them here today. Through their support, you have helped them achieve this pinnacle of success. Student athletes, this is your cue. This is your cue, student athletes. Believe it or not, I have practiced that with them while we were in the room together. <laughs> because all of you have been on winning teams, you know that one of the key ingredients to being successful and have a winning culture is to figure out what you do really, really well, and then play to those strengths. Make your, those assets your strongest. Whether it's your speed, your strength of your team, do it really well, and you're probably gonna be really great at that. Well, today the WIA is certainly playing on its strengths, because you student athletes are the heart and the soul of what this organization is all about. You are why so many of us are so excited and passionate about being involved in education-based athletics. Here are some of the ways that the WIA has been playing to its strengths. The member schools asked for the sport of girls wrestling to be sanctioned. And in three years' time, we started with 450 girls and now have tripled that number and have 1,600 girls wrestling in the state of Wisconsin. Boys and girls lacrosse are playing their very first WIA sanctioned season and will be celebrating with a state championship in June this spring. We've launched the first ever WIA student leadership team. We received over 250 applications for that. We'll be interviewing those students and that will begin next school year. And of course today, we're recognizing 32 of the very best student athletes from across the state of Wisconsin. 
Programs like today are extra special for me, not just as the proud director of the WIAA, but also as a mom of student athletes. I had three of them who were also have fine memories of being a high school student athlete. As I reflected about the message that I wanted to convey to you today, it's really quite simple. I believe that all student athletes in this room are more complete human beings because of having been a high school athlete. In a book called Changes or Choices That Change Lives, author Hal, Hal Urban describes some special gifts, gifts that we give and gifts that we receive, and they cost nothing more than the effort. The first gift is the gift of personal communication. On a daily basis, words are exchanged between coach and team members, team captains and their teammates. These are skills that we know are going to help all our children be more successful in their career and in their relationships as they carry on with their life. And it all began on a gym or a field. Number two is the gift of encouragement. Every day, coaches and athletes share their wisdom and their advice with each other. They boost each other's spirits. These are words that help, help our sons and our daughters become better at what they do and to help them feel more appreciated and more worthwhile as individuals. The third gift is the gift of laughter. Laughter is a life enhancer, and it's a great gift that's just so easy to give. Ask your kids about the bus rides home from athletic events or the pasta parties or something goofy that their coach did that they laughed about for the rest of the season. These are lifelong memories that will continue to be talked about at class reunions for years to come. The fourth gift is a gift of listening. As athletes grow in maturity, their coaches take more and more stock at what they, into what they have to say. They place great value into the words of their team leaders. Letting others know that what you have to say to me is important by listening to what they have to say is an incredible gift that you can give. And the fifth gift is the gift of physical affection. Those precious handshakes, High fives, pats on the back for a job well done demonstrates warmth and caring. Knowing that our children feel a sense of belonging is priceless to parents. Although the gifts that our sons and daughters have received from their coaches and their teammates along the way didn't always appear to be neatly wrapped and tied with a bow. In fact, sometimes it really didn't feel like a present at all. Yet, as they leave us and they move on to their next chapter, as the kids here will do, we know and I am confident that they have gained valuable life experiences which have better prepared, prepared to face the challenges that they will see throughout their lives. I congratulate each and one of you here today on your amazing high school career, and I truly believe that your best is yet to come. Thank you and enjoy today's program. Thank you, Stephanie. Those are great gifts and great choices to live by, some things that we can really take to heart and uh, use as you start to head off out of Wisconsin and throughout Wisconsin to new schools and wherever you're headed, scholars. And uh, hopefully it's something that you can use for a long time to come. Next, I'd like to introduce Tanya holler Minch from our sponsor, We Energies and Wisconsin Public Service Foundation. Tanya was named Director of Corporate Communications for WEC Energy Group, including WE Energies and Wisconsin Public Service, in November of 2020, and oversees not only customer and internal communications, but also plays a pivotal role in managing the company's reputation and brand. Her guidance extends to forging strategic partnerships, spearheading outreach efforts for corporate in, uh, initiatives, uh, cementing the organization's position as a community partner. Beyond her professional endeavors, Tanya is engaged in her community, serving as a board member for Library Services of Wisconsin and as a member of the Wish Night Committee for Make-A-Wish Wisconsin. Will you please help me in welcoming Tanya holler Minch?
All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, on behalf of the We Energies Foundation and the Wisconsin Public Service Foundation, I'm honored to be here with all of you today to honor this year's scholar athletes. Honorees, your hard work and dedication has been exemplary over the past four years, and we recognize to achieve this level of success both inside the classroom and on the playing field, you've continuously demonstrated commitment, focus, and follow through. You are the elite of high school athletes in the state of Wisconsin and should be incredibly proud of all your accomplishments. As you look forward to graduation and the next chapter of your lives, may you cherish this journey and be successful in the next. And to support you in that next leg of your journey, it is my great pleasure to share that each of you will be receiving a $1,000 scholarship from the We Energies Foundation and Wisconsin Public Service Foundation. Our foundations are committed to supporting those who are creating brighter futures for our communities, and we believe that all of you have and will continue to do just that. So please accept this scholarship in recognition of all that you've achieved and all the incredible things that are ahead of you. Scholar athletes, if you would please look under your chair, you will have your scholarship certificate. There is a bar in the middle of your chair that um, I've been told they're, they're secured under. Um, and again, I'd like to offer my sincere congratulations and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Congratulations. Come on, you can find them underneath there. Yep, they are all there. Outstanding job, Tanya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything that We Energies Foundation uh, can do for us, and it has been just a pleasure working with you on these projects, and the faces on the scholars certainly says it all uh, when, uh, as I was watching uh, as you made that announcement. Great work. At this time, we are pleased to introduce our featured speaker. Please join me, uh, first of all, growing up in Prairie du Chien, two-time Paralympic medalist Joe Delagrave has etched his legacy as a prominent figure in wheelchair rugby, donning both athlete and coaching hats. Joe demonstrated both perseverance and purpose after becoming paralyzed in a boating accident at the age of 19. He has toured the world as an ambassador for spinal cord injury research while positively impacting audiences with his story of resilience and success. Here is a brief video providing some additional insights into Joe's story. From a, a world-class player to a world-class coach. I'm Joe Delagrave. I'm a proud father, husband, and motivational speaker. I've had the opportunity to wear USA across my chest and represent our country all over the world has been a complete honor. 13 years on the national team, uh, eight as a captain, won medals all over the world playing with my teammates. And to think that I was only gonna play college football and be done, like it, it's such a dream come true. The thing that drove me towards murder ball, wheelchair rugby, it was a complete oxymoron because it absolutely smashed I was was now. I wasn't an athlete anymore, and they smashed that level. That serious. The sport gave me an opportunity to find a bigger purpose as being a head coach of the national team, not to go chase medals, but to make sure these guys understand that their purpose is bigger than the sport. I can control the reaction to what I'm going through. My life has brought a lot of significance and purpose through my accident by being able to kind of live that out and then hopefully inspire people to inspire themselves. Please join me in welcoming an inspiration and true leader, Joe Delagrave.
if you're uh, still looking for that that uh, scholarship, you didn't get one. You're not a scholar athlete. Okay, stop looking. <laughs> uh, I'm honored to be here. Honored to be back in the state of Wisconsin. My wife and family and I just recently moved to Nashville, Tennessee, so I could become a country music star. Why are you laughing? You haven't heard me sing yet. Uh, no, not, not. But um, no, absolute honor to be here. Uh, recognize these 32 individuals um, for their success in high school. Um, absolutely congratulatory. Uh, congratulations to you guys. So uh, awesome job. Awesome. Um, my daughter, she was four, getting ready to turn five, going into kindergarten. She's now eight over at uh, our neighbor's house in Holman, Wisconsin, and they're off playing. They had some twin boys over there, and Brindley, um, you know, was hanging out with them, and then I see Lindsay, the, the, the boy's mom, start walking towards our house, and she was doing that, moms, you know what I'm talking about, she was doing that mom walk, where the husbands, like, try to find something to do in the garage right about then, uh, which I did. I just completely ducked in there myself in my chair. I'm like, I want no part of this conversation right now. Uh, so a little bit later, I get out there. I'm like, hey, uh, what was going on there, April? Um, and she goes, well, your daughter, anytime they say your daughter, then it's like, oh boy, am I getting in trouble? So she goes, your daughter, you know, decided to go to the bathroom at Lindsay's house. And I'm like, that's fantastic. You know, we teach our kids how to use the toilet. Um, she goes, no, she went outside. And um, so I'm going, okay, all right. Well, did you, you know, was it one or two? And she's like, that's a big deal, right? And she's like, it's two. And I'm like, great. Um, but like, you told her that we'd go clean it up and everything and go get our pooper scooper over there, right? And, and we'll, you know, we'll clean it up. And we don't need the entire neighborhood calling us the Delegrave dumpers or anything like that. Like, we need to make sure that... We're, uh, we're well known and, and respected in this community. Um, not the reason we moved to Nashville, by the way. We're not running away from pooping in the yards. But, uh, and she goes, no, I didn't need to clean it up because the story gets worse. Um, their, their dog ate it. Uh, you know, and I'm, I've, I feel like I've got at least 20, 25 years of practice before I tell her that story at her wedding. Uh, so thank you for letting me practice that. I uh, appreciate that. No, I think there's um, my story and what you see in the videos, and there's a lot of accolades, a lot of, you know, what, and, and, and I really think at the root of it um, is this response to failure. And I think, you know, the 32 of you in here, your parents, your friends, your family, understand what you've gone through. Um, and, and a lot of people see the accolades, a lot of people see the notoriety, uh, but people don't see when you have those bad days, when you have failure, when, you, when you're going through an injury like some of you are right now or have gone through an injury or when you get to school and it's not necessarily um, as high school was to get to the top. And I think our um, success lies in how we see failure. I was... Uh, Preparing for my second Paralympics, I went to the London Paralympics. Um, we had won bronze. Some of you guys got to see that medal. If you want to see it after, that's great too. I used to call it the brown poopy medal. I have two boys. I have a lot of poop stories. I have two boys here. Um, but there's, uh, fair enough, uh, one of the poop stories about my daughter. Anyway, um, so we won bronze. We lost to Canada, which is our arch rival in wheelchair rugby in the semifinal game by one point. Uh, and it was devastating. We had won uh, world championships in 2006, world championships in 2010, won Paralympics in 2008. So 2012, like, we were supposed to win number one ranked team for, like, seven straight years. We were supposed to win. Don't win. Um, 2013 comes around. I became a captain. And my entire attitude was, like, we need to win gold, 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 gold. We're going to win gold. That's about everything. We're going to win gold. I've been on the team now for seven years captain throughout that entire quad and as a leader that's going to validate me and I've got tunnel vision on it as a father that's going to validate me I've got tunnel vision on it. as a husband that's going to validate me winning this gold medal All right and so we're um, 
nearing the end of the quad. It's G uh, July of 2016. We're out in Chula Vista, California for our last training camp where they select the team at the end of the training camp. Week-long training camp, super intense, uh, three-a-day sessions. Eat, train, eat, train, eat, train, sleep, wake up, do it again. Eat, train, eat, train, eat, train, sleep. Uh, really random day. We had eat, train, eat, train. Bill Walton spoke for like three hours. He was supposed to speak for 20 minutes. Um, if you don't know who Bill Walton is, uh, seniors, ask your parents. Uh, but he's wild. So like he's, and we're like, tell more stories, Bill. This is awesome because we are exhausted. Um, and so we get to the last day. Eat, train, eat, train, eat, train. And they are going to text us to come to the room, tell us if we're going to be on the Paralympic team or not. So I remember getting my text, I'm walking out, rolling towards the coach's room, sun setting over the, over the Chula Vista Mountains, just a beautiful night, and just kind of remembering, like, this is going to be the moment um, that starts this validation that I really sought after. So knock on the coach's door, he opens it, and I wheel in, and coach is like, Hey, we you know really appreciate everything you've done with this program and being a Paralympian and um, getting through this spot and you know we don't think you're good enough and he trails on and on and I was devastated for someone to look at me after seven years on the team and say you're not good enough to be on this team to go to Rio we don't think we need you yada 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 absolutely crushed my spirit. I mean, anger, sadness, madness, tears, resentment, bitter, like all filling up in my heart because what was supposed to validate me uh, as an athlete, as a captain, as a leader, as a parent, as a husband, I don't even get the chance to go. What am I supposed to do with that? And I remember going back and before I called my wife, looking in the mirror and looking at myself and just being absolutely devastated. Like, well, how are you going to go back to April? How are you going to go back to your dad? Our kids are uh, barely all Atlantic, like, at the moment, four years old and down, two in diapers still, and, and I'm not going? Like, this is supposed to jumpstart my career later as a speaker and whatnot and go through you get a choice. And, and I'm not saying like from there it was just this beautiful rainbows and butterflies deal, but it was this day-to-day -day choice to look at myself in the mirror. And what I want to share with you guys today, and I think you guys probably already have this, athletes, as you've gone through high school, as you're getting into college, as you're going to start your careers later in life, um, is that when you look in the mirror, you can see yourself. So four letters there. The, the S stands for support. So when you're looking in the mirror and you're having this bad day, you're having this failure, you're having doubts that are in your head, and life's not necessarily going your way right now, you see your support. You have your parents, some of your best friends, some of you guys are going to be on teams in college, your teammates, your coaches. Your coaches in high school, I remember looking in the mirror and, and going, I have my wife here that loves me despite whether or not I'm a gold medalist. I have my family and friends. I have my kids. How am I going to respond in a way that shows them how to respond to failure? You have your support here. I think each and every one of you probably has someone they can name, maybe even a whole handful of people that they can name that loves them unconditionally. You have your support. So you're looking in the mirror and you, and you see your support and you also see your effort. The E stands for, for effort. And I think a lot of times when we're going through the highs, it's really fun to look back and see the effort that we did to become a state champion, the effort that we did become um, uh, going to state as a team, the effort that we did to be a scholar athlete, the effort that we did to get that scholarship. Um, but when things aren't going our way, do we look back? For me, 2016, um, after a while of unpacking all of those feelings, I kind of did some perspective and looked at my 
life at the 19-year-old kid who was in the hospital. And I'm going, there's so much perspective there from the 19-year-old kid that was uh, laying in the hospital bed versus, I think if we can get a handheld maybe, I don't know, I'm going in and out. Let's do a handheld real quick. Yeah, sorry. Awesome. So perspective, as we're going through perspective on this failure and look back, it's really important to be able to pause in that moment and see how far, I think I'll just do a, a handheld, I think this keeps on cutting me in and out. Sorry, Dave. Or Nate, sorry. Awesome. All right. Check, check, check. Can you guys hear me? Cool. All right. If I drop the mic at the wrong time, don't make fun of me. Okay. Um, but perspective's really important. And pausing to be able to look back is super important in that effort. I think there's a lot of times where we let the impact meter of what we're doing dictate what we're, what, like, how good we feel. And there's a lot of times you're going to go through seasons of life, whether it's in college or um, onward, where you can't see your effort a lot or the impact that you're making and you need to have pause and then perspective on how far you've came, All right? Effort. So look in the mirror, you can see your support and those around you. Look in the mirror and you can see your effort even when the impact meter's not lighting up. Next is love. Uh, and I think this is honestly one of the hardest ones to deal with when you're looking in the mirror when you're going through failure is, can you look in the mirror and love the person that you see back? Do you love yourself? Despite going through failures or not reaching your goals sometimes or slipping up when you're taking a step backwards when you think that you should be three steps ahead, can you love yourself? Can you love yourself and get some backup from that support? Can you love yourself and see the effort that you've made? I think that's really tough sometimes. Can you look in the mirror and love yourself? Um, the F stands for, for me, that's faith in God and um, where he's brought me in life. But I think holistically within this as well is, do you have faith in the person you are and where you're headed to see the faith that you have in your support, the faith that you have in your effort, the faith that you have in loving yourself. It's really tough sometimes to do. But when you look in the mirror, I think that's what you should see. See those around you. See your effort, see your love, see your faith. Um, came back from my uh, demotion getting cut in 2016. I'm kind of talking to April going, should I try again? Is this... Like, you know, should I just move on with life? What does this look like? And for me, I just wanted to be able to go out on my own terms. Tried out again in 2017, became a captain again, uh, worked through as a leader and really changed the way I led, uh, understanding that it wasn't about the gold medal. It was about the journey alongside these other guys, trying to make them better men and women in our program leading with a selfless heart, not with just a selfish endeavor of wanting to win a gold medal. So we get through the quad, um, got through COVID, finally played in Tokyo, uh, which was kind of a surreal experience where no friends and family were there. We're playing in front of nobody, really. And um, got to the end of the game against GB. We're in the gold medal game against them. We had beaten them in the preliminary rounds um, by two goals. And get there, it's the fourth quarter, tie game. Um, we, cut, we get a turnover. They end up winning by three or four. But I remember feeling a peace about that loss. That silver medal for me represents someone that's willing to respond to failure. That's willing to say, no, 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 like even, even when someone says you're not good enough, are you going to look in the mirror and believe in yourself? I think each and every one of us in the room, parents, friends, scholar athletes, we have or will go through something that's tough. Might not be a wheelchair, it could be an injury, 
an illness, a disease, divorce in your family, whatever it is, can you look in the mirror? Can you see your support? Can you see your effort? Can you see your love? Can you see your faith? For me, when I was 19, I was on a boat with my buddies, the Mississippi River, border in Wisconsin and Iowa, um, in a back slough. My buddy Kyle just came home from Marquette. Buddy Adam had just came home from St. Cloud. I came home from Winona State where I was playing football, enjoying a Saturday afternoon boat ride. July 10th, 2004, beautiful sunny day. We're back in the back sloughs. We're kneeboarding. Adam's kneeboarding. Kyle's driving. I'm on the boat. Uh, Kyle accidentally hits the bottom of the river. I fly backwards um, and hit my head inside the boat, in the front of the boat, and break my neck at the C6 and 7 level. I went from six foot six and about 260 pounds to being paralyzed. And I remember being in the hospital room, you know, and, and, and really, like, before that, I went back, I remember being in, in, in the boat and Kyle and Adam looking down over me, tears rolling down their face, kind of going, Joe, like, can, can you move your legs at all? I knew something was wrong already, but had just an excruciating pain from the open head injury that the uh, impact caused. And, and Kyle's like, can you, can, you move your, can, you, you know, can you move your leg at all? And I look down and send the signal down from my brain into my spinal cord like I'm doing right now with my hands, like nothing, and, and nothing happens. And I'm like, no, I can't. And... and um, they're like, can you feel your legs? Do they feel like your own legs? Can you, do you have like sensation? I reached down and I felt my leg and it was really out of body experience. Felt like I was touching someone else's leg. I, if you guys want to do that right now, you got to give me a finder's fee if you guys, uh, end up matching together and become, no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, and, uh, get to the hospital, go up to La Crosse to Gunnarsson Lutheran where I had surgery on my neck. And I remember laying in bed for what seemed like eternity, but the days into weeks, weeks into months, uh, three months there. But throughout that time, had people come into my room almost daily, at least someone there every day. And that was supportive. That talked to me about effort on getting better, that, that loved me, that had faith in who I was. And right there, I think, is something that is just so beautiful about athletes. You guys have been working your tails off your entire high school careers, and you're going to take those lessons, those lessons on how to be a teammate, those lessons on how to love each other, those lessons on how to support each other and have each other's backs. It's needed. Definitely be that for someone. I uh, just want to honor a, a guy in this room, Mel Dow, uh, real quick. Um, get to the choked up here. Sorry. Um, Mel was one of those guys for me. He was a coach in high school. Um, I was a basketball player, big wrestler over there, but uh, met on the football field. Um, and I remember one time, coach came into my room. I'm laying there, and uh, he had given me, like, a card, gave it to my mom or something about, you know, Paralympics. And had never heard thing. Honestly, I thought adaptive sports were really stupid. I had no idea. I was a 19-year-old kid that was completely ignorant and, had no idea what they were, and then you guys saw how cool that sport is, where you're smashing into each other. It's a, it's a weird sport. Like, you're just rolling around with a disability, crashing into each other, trying to have each other, like, have a more bigger disability. It's, it's a weird deal. Uh, kind, of a, kind of a strange thing. But um, I remember Mel doing that, and, and, uh, and right away didn't want anything to do with it. But as the months went on, the year went on, really it was about a year and a half after where I looked up sports for – people with my level of disability and, and saw that you could run um, track in a wheelchair, which, sorry, track athletes, I'd, I'd rather eat the salad for the rest of my life than have to run around in a circle. But, uh, and then I found wheelchair basketball, which uh, I didn't really have the function to do, and then I saw that wheelchair rugby, uh, a video kind of like that, where they're smashing into each other. I'm like, this is it. This is for me. Um, and started playing that sport, and, and the rest is history for me. But really... As you're taking off into your college careers and you're graduating soon, this month or next month, understand to look back on that perspective. For me, I was a 19-year-old kid, paralyzed in a hospital bed, really not knowing what life was going to be like. Am I going to be able to find someone to marry, have kids, 
find something that's purposeful and I'm passionate about? Am I going to be able to find a job that they'll acquire with the, with the wheelchair? And a lot of times we look at like our big giant goals of what we want to do and we forget about those small little steps along the way. For me, the biggest choice I had was to get in that wheelchair, not to be ashamed to be a man with a disability, but get in the wheelchair. And the wheelchair led me back to college. The wheelchair led me to get married. The wheelchair led to three beautiful kids. Getting in that wheelchair led me to training for three Paralympics. The wheelchair led me to being the head coach of the United States wheelchair rugby team. Crazy to think what happens when you make a simple choice each and every day to get up. Remember that you have support, effort, love, and faith. Remember that you are a scholar athlete and you're gonna go out and crush your goals, your dreams, your desires, one day at a time. Thanks guys. Awesome message, Joel. Self will have so much more meaning for a long time to come with all of us. We really appreciate you sharing all of that and I think helping us to see a better future for all of us. And speaking of better futures, you're about to see some high school student athletes who will handle the future for not only the state of Wisconsin but for this country as it's now time that we do the presentation of the awards to the young men and women we're honoring here today. Each of you will receive a certificate identifying you as a WIA Scholar statewide award winner. You'll also be presented with a very distinctive medallion we know will have a place of honor in your homes and will be a source of pride as you look back on your years of high school achievement. In addition, the young women will be given a miniature version of the medallion on a gold chain, and the young men will receive a lapel pin. Our sponsors, We Energies and the Wisconsin Public Service Foundations, both believe that building on the tremendous potential of our young people is well worth the investment. As Tanya already announced, each of this year's scholar-athlete finalists will be receiving a $1,000 scholarship. The WIA office will be reaching out to each family in late July or early August, and again in December regarding your son or daughter's educational institution for their second semester of the 2024-25 school year. For those who are able to receive the scholarship, you will receive payment just after the first of the year. And if you run into any questions during the months ahead, please feel free to call us at our office. Additionally, Governor Evers has sent each of the scholar athletes a signed certificate in recognition of their achievements. During today's ceremony, each scholar athlete will be given a plaque with his or her name inscribed on it for the trophy case at their high school. Scholars, again, please make sure that you take that plaque to your school administration so they can place it in a location for you to be recognized. You will also receive a class of 2024 plaque that you can keep at home, compliments of We Energies and the Wisconsin Public Service Foundation. That's the one that has all your pictures on it. Following today's ceremony, we'd also like to have you pose for a group photo and then an individual photo with Joe and Stephanie. In a few minutes, We'll get on with the introductions, but first, let me take this opportunity to tell you just a little bit more about the program. As mentioned previously, since 1984, 1,213 elite scholar athletes have been honored in this program. Today's honorees were selected from a field of more than 136 candidates nominated by 422 high schools in Wisconsin. The WIAA has provide, provided a very high level playing field in evaluating the nominees 
a fair and objective scoring system is utilized, and only in the case of a tie does subjectivity come into the equation. When there is a tie, the judges then review and vote on the students' responses to the essay question, what are the greatest lessons you learn in your high school academic and athletic experiences that will help you later in life? To qualify, each student must have earned at least four varsity letters in the first three and one half years of high school with a grade point average of at least 3.5. You can be assured that today's honorees are more than qualified on both accounts. They are all in that category. Of course, outstanding scholars, and in fact, 17 of them have achieved a 4.0 GPA. All 32 of our scholar-athlete finalists are multi-sport athletes and, as a group, have earned a total of 323 varsity letters during their first three and a half years of school. That's an average of 10 letters each. And bear in mind, that is only their total through the first half of their senior year. Not surprisingly, they are also leaders in their schools. Many have been class officers have served on student council, and have been honored by their classmates in a variety of other ways. Several have been team captains, co-captains, or MVPs, and typically most find time in their busy schedule to be involved in their community in a variety of different ways. Many of the scholar athletes here today are identified, have identified various community service projects they've been a part of. In the interest of time, Please allow me to provide you with just a few examples of this group's community service. Owen Platt from Plymouth volunteers as a buddy with Night to Shine, providing a prom night out for people with special needs. Menasha's Lily Fouts is a recording singer-songwriter and performer, winning the 2020 Wisconsin Area Music Industry Rising Star of the Year Award. She says she enjoys playing volunteer shows at senior living communities as well as local and school events. Bray Lee Jadarski from Oshkosh has been a CARE, which stands for Celebrating Activities Rallying Everyone Days mentor for students with special needs for the past three years. Brock Massey has spent two years sharing his passions and talents teaching children baseball and softball for the Mauston Park and Recreation Department. Sophia Bablich of Rascholt makes and donates blankets to children at the local hospital. Alana Jerchi from Albany has served on two mission trips where she repaired homes for people in need. She says it was a lot of hard work, but is proud of the difference she made for those families. Wisconsin Rapids' Kendall Duhlman volunteers at her Communities Day, uh, Day of Caring. Uh, this is called Ruby's Pantry, and it is at a local nursing home. Violet, Sh Violet Schultes from Slinger led the $100 project at her church. Using a very small budget, the group created and delivered foster care kits for children in need. And Sarah Melodic from Ringel after seeing students throwing away uneaten fruits, vegetables, and packaged food items, created the donation station at her school. This system allows for unused food items to be donated for use by other students who may not be able to afford snacks during the school day. Obviously, I could go on, but please give a warm round of applause for all of the community service efforts from our 2024 scholar-athletes and what they have done during their high school years. In many ways, today's scholar-athletes represent hundreds of other outstanding scholar-athletes, including their own teammates schoolmates, and others throughout the state. In fact, over the years, more than 27,800 young men and women have now been honored as WIA scholar-athletes at the local level and received awards at their high schools. Today, we recognize this year's 32 scholar-athlete finalists and learn about some very, very impressive young people. Each has a long list of accomplishments, but in the interest of time, we can only share brief highlights of their admirable careers here today. 
Of special note, however, we wanted to highlight a few close family relationships between award recipients this year and previous scholar athlete finalists, such as Casey Ingebret is a sister of 2022 scholar athlete Jada Ingebret. Nora Grimban is the daughter of the 1989 scholar athlete finalist Amy, Amy Grimbine. And Candon Brandenburg is the stepson of the 2022 scholar athlete finalist Alexandra Stallum. Additionally, St. Croix Falls High School produced two scholar athlete finalists this year, and only the second and third in school history. So congratulations go to Eli Prokop and Lucy Belisle on this achievement. At this time, Stephanie and Joel, would you please start making your way back up to the front to present the Scholar Athlete Medals and Certificates? And at the same time, could we have the first group of award winners please come to the staging area to my right? As is the case every year, we have an amazing group of recipients from all corners of the state. As they come forward to receive their awards, you will hear about the athletic, scholastic, and community achievements of each of these outstanding individuals. Everyone is encouraged to applaud briefly for each student at the conclusion of their video introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce this distinct, it is my distinct pleasure to present to you all of our student athletes at this time. The Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association, together with the We Energies Foundation and Wisconsin Public Service Foundation, are proud to honor the WIAA Scholar Athletes of 2024. 32 outstanding individuals whose hard work, dedication, and leadership have led to exemplary high school careers and to valued service to their communities. The WIAA 2024 Scholar Athlete Finalists represent high schools from all corners of the state, and it's our distinct privilege and pleasure to introduce each of them to you now. Our first Scholar Athlete, Sophia Bablich, is from Rosholt High School, where she earned eight varsity letters in cross-country basketball and track and field. A state champion in the 3,200-meter race her junior year, she was also a two-time state runner-up in the 1,600-meter race for her sophomore and junior seasons. She holds three Hornet track and field school records for the 3,200, 1,600, and 800-meter races. She's a four-time state qualifier in cross-country and three-time state qualifier in track and field. She also won three Central Wisconsin Small Conference Championships during her junior track and field season. In her spare time, she enjoys making and donating blankets for children in the hospital and plans to study communications and journalism at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities while participating in cross-country and track on academic and athletic scholarships. Sophia shares, If I have learned anything throughout my high school career, as I balance my life as a student athlete with a chronic medical condition, it would be resilience and mental strength. The connections and friendships I made along the way with competitors and teammates also taught me that I'm never alone in my struggles. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Sophia Bablich. From St. Croix Falls High School, Scholar Athlete Lucy Belil has earned 11 varsity letters in volleyball, basketball, and track and field. She helped the Saints volleyball team earn a state runner-up title her junior year and followed with a state championship her senior year. She helped her basketball team win four Heart of North Conference championships, was a state tournament qualifier her sophomore year, and received team most valuable player honors her senior year. In her spare time, she serves as a volunteer co-head coach for 8th grade volleyball and says she enjoys helping younger girls learn the skills they'll need for high school athletics. She received an academic and athletic scholarship from Augustana University, where she plans to study education while playing volleyball. Lucy writes, Experiencing good leadership through sports has been what led to the skills I have picked up to be one myself. I will forever be thankful to the role models who have taught me to hold my composure gracefully and spread positivity and encouragement to my teammates. 
These skills expand beyond a basketball court and carry into daily life by creating an environment that others around me feel motivated by. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Lucy Belil. From Janesville Parker High School, let's recognize Caden Brandenburg, who earned nine letters in volleyball, wrestling, and track and field with the Vikings. Caden is a three-time wrestling sectional champion, earning his team's most valuable player award his sophomore, junior, and senior year, as well as the Big 8 Conference Wrestler of the Year award his senior year. As a junior, he also won sectional championships in the 200, 400, and 4x400 meter races, breaking his school record in the 400 meter dash. In football, he was voted first team all conference as a senior. An active volunteer at Janesville's Cargill Church, Caden plans to study kinesiology at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. In his essay, he writes, High school sports are some of the most challenging, competitive, fun, and physical tasks one can participate in. It's not only physical, but also mental. I've learned many different lessons playing sports, but that will greatly benefit me after high school. First and foremost is teamwork and accountability. Second is discipline. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Caden Brandenburg. Our next scholar athlete, Ava Dean, has earned 10 letters in volleyball, basketball, and soccer with the Spartans of McFarland High School. She is a three-time Badger Small Conference soccer champion and helped her team win a state championship her freshman year. In volleyball, she was selected as Conference Co-Player of the Year and received first-team all-conference state honors her senior year. She was also part of the two-time state qualifying volleyball team and received honorable mention all-state honors in basketball her senior season. She was a member of her school's student council and DECA programs for three years and plans to major in business with an emphasis in real estate and urban land economics at UW-Madison. Ava shares... The process is what people don't see, but it is the most demanding part, which is why integrity has been a value I have developed and will continue to use in the future. It has also advanced my time management skills, and learning how to be productive has helped me tremendously with my academics as well as my work ethic. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Ava Dean. From McDonald Central Catholic and the Cloverbelt West Conference comes scholar athlete Aubrey Dorn. Ranking first in her class with a 4.0 grade point, Aubrey has earned 11 varsity letters. Four of those were earned in volleyball, where she helped the Lady Max earn back-to-back -back state championships her sophomore and junior year. She was also part of the first in school history state championship basketball team her junior year and helped her team win a sectional championship in softball as a junior. In her spare time, she enjoys photography and plans to study biochemistry at Viterbo University while playing basketball on both an athletic and academic scholarship. Aubrey stated, The most important lesson I learned throughout academics and athletics is resilience and how to overcome adversity. I realized that attitude and effort alone can resolve most of the problems you encounter. I learned there is always value in how much effort you decide to put in, no matter the outcome. It is crucial to see how far you can push yourself without giving up. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Aubrey Dorn. Our next honoree is Kendall Dillman from Assumption High School in Wisconsin Rapids. Kendall has earned 11 varsity letters across volleyball, basketball, and soccer. She received the Midwestern Wisconsin Conference MVP award in soccer her junior season and helped the Royals soccer team qualify for two state appearances as a freshman and sophomore. On the basketball court, she was a member of the state championship team her freshman year and brought home four Merrill Wood South Conference championships. When not in school or playing sports, she enjoys volunteering with numerous organizations in her community including at Elk's Fish Fries and Ruby's Pantry, while also visiting local nursing homes. She received a merit-based scholarship to Marquette University, where she plans to study business administration. In her essay, Kendall shares, Small details matter. 
My freshman year started with a teacher telling me to do the little things. I was not exactly sure what he meant, but as I started to hear it more often, it became apparent. They are the things that may go unnoticed to most, but can make a big difference in someone's day. These often unnoticed little things in life are what make a leader. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Kendall Dillman. Hailing from Albany High School, our next Scholar Athlete is 11 Varsity Letter winner and three-sport athlete, Alana Durchi. First in her class with a 4.0, Alana helped her Comets basketball team win a state championship her senior year. And she received the Six Rivers East Basketball Player of the Year Award both her junior and senior seasons. On the softball field, she helped her softball team earn a state runner-up trophy and took home team MVP honors as a sophomore and junior. As part of her AUMC youth group, she participated in two mission trips and she helped repair homes for people in need. She'll study education at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse on an academic scholarship. Alana shares, juggling academic studies with a busy athletic schedule is tough, but it taught me the importance of hard work and perseverance. I've learned that sports can be a temporary thing, so I make sure to apply the same level of determination to academics. I've achieved high marks in difficult classes and multiple college courses that earned me the honor of valedictorian. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Alana Durchi. A 4.0 student, Phillips High School's Casey Egebrecht has earned 11 letters spanning volleyball, basketball, and softball. On the basketball court, the logger earned four straight regional championship titles, was voted Merrillwood Conference Player of the Year twice, and is a three-time first-team all-conference selection. She's a nine-time conference champion, including two titles in softball, three in volleyball, and four in basketball. During her freshman season, she helped her softball team make a state appearance, and she is a two-time first-team all-conference selection in volleyball. She says she loves to explore the world, particularly marine life in the ocean, and plans to study animal science at UW-Eau Claire while playing basketball on an athletic scholarship. In her essay, Casey shares, Motivation is essential to achieving success. Prioritizing schoolwork and effectively practicing time management skills is important as I pursue my goals. Through athletics, I have experienced countless setbacks that taught me the virtue of resilience. Setbacks will always happen, but it is your response that matters. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Casey Egebrecht. Our next honoree is 4.0 student Lily Fouts from Xavier High School. During her junior and senior cross country seasons, Lily led the Xavier Hawks to back-to-back -back team state championships. She is a three-time team MVP in track and field, two-time MVP in cross country, and received Bay Conference cross country MVP honors her senior year. She's also a two-time state runner-up in the 3200 meter run and is a three-time individual sectional champion in cross country. In her spare time, she is a recording singer-songwriter, winning the 2020 Whammy Rising Star of the Year Award. She received an academic and athletic scholarship from Belmont University, where she'll study songwriting and music business while participating in cross-country and track and field. She shares, I learned success comes to those who are resilient and willing to make sacrifices. From long workouts and prioritizing recovery to studying hard even when unmotivated, cross-country, track and field, and academics made me the assiduous worker I am today. When I am given a task, I will not give up until I have completed it to the best of my ability. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Lily Fouts. From Stevens Point Area Senior High, our next Scholar Athlete is Aloysius Franzen. The 4.0 student helped the Panthers cross-country team win back-to-back -back state cross-country championships as a junior and senior, and on the track he was a member of the 4x800 meter relay state championship team his junior season. 
His efforts earned him the Wisconsin Valley Conference Cross Country MVP Award as a senior, as well as five conference honors across the two sports. Outside of school and sports, Aloysius enjoys backpacking and camping trips, particularly the one he takes with his dad each year. He plans to study nutrition and food science at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities while participating in cross country and track on academic and athletic scholarships. Aloysius stated, at the beginning of freshman year, I had a few lofty goals for cross country and I was quickly humbled when during that season, I passed out multiple times during races due to undiagnosed exercise induced asthma. I realized during this time that it is better to set goals that are attainable rather than those that one may run themselves into the ground to achieve. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Aloysius Franzen. From Northland Pines High School, Nora Gremban brought home an individual state cross-country championship for senior year while also receiving Great Northern Conference Most Valuable Player honors that season. The eight-time varsity letter winner is also a five-time state champion in track and field, running both the 800 and 1600 meter. She was named Conference Runner of the Year five times and also earned six conference selection honors across track and field and cross-country. Outside of school and sports, she is very passionate about health and wellness. She has an Instagram page where she shares recipes and inspires others to cook using nutritious foods. She plans to study psychology at the University of Wisconsin while participating in cross country and track on an athletic scholarship. Reflecting, Nora shares, determination builds focus and holds students accountable. This empowers student athletes to continue to put their best foot forward realizing that athletics do not define you. Many can get caught up in the whirlwind of homework and competition, yet learning to put your wellness first is crucial. Becoming your best, authentic self will ensure success in all other aspects of life. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Nora Gremban. Brett Gruen from Royal High School is our next scholar athlete. First in her class with a 4.0 GPA, Mara earned 17 varsity letters across five sports. As a freshman, she and her team won a state track and field championship, and she helped the Panthers volleyball team qualify for a trip to state. As a sophomore, she was a four-event state track and field qualifier, participating in the mile, two-mile, triple jump, and long jump. She received Scenic Bluff Conference MVP awards in cross country, volleyball and basketball her senior year, as well as first team all state honors in volleyball and basketball. In her free time, she enjoys sharing her passion for athletics with her community's youth through coaching, refing and volunteering. She plans to study nursing on an academic scholarship at UW Eau Claire while also playing volleyball. Mara shares, my involvement in five sports while maintaining a 4.0 GPA has allowed me to enhance my time management skills, gain valuable leadership skills, improve my mental strength, and become accommodated with handling pressure. These priceless characteristics have allowed me to grow individually and as a teammate. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Mara Brett Gruen. From Oshkosh West High School, our next scholar athlete is Braley Jodarski. This 11-time letter winner is a three-time cross-country state qualifier, and she also received first-team all-conference honors her freshman through junior seasons. She is a two-time state qualifier in softball, and the Wildcat also received first-team Fox Valley Association conference honors in softball three consecutive years. Outside of school and sports, she has been a care, celebrating abilities rallying everyone, day's mentor for students with special needs for three years. She plans to study biology as a pre-med major while playing softball at Winona State University on both an academic and athletic scholarship. Braley writes, the greatest lessons I've learned through my high school academic and athletic experiences are that the value of failure is much greater than just getting back up again. Failure in both the classroom and athletics 
has taught me that how I choose to define my response and how I choose to implement the lessons I learn from failure dictates my character as well as my dedication to myself when I face adversity. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Braley Jodarski. From Three Lakes High School, our next Scholar Athlete is Jared Kaufman. First in his class with a 4.0 grade point average, Jared has earned 11 varsity letters in football, basketball, and baseball. The Blue Jay helped his baseball team earn two Northern Lakes Conference championships as a freshman and sophomore, and he also earned first-team all-conference honors, as well as team most valuable player honors his junior year. That same year, he helped his team earn a regional championship in both basketball and baseball. As a senior, he earned both team and Northern Border Conference most valuable player honors in football. In his free time, he's very involved in his church and plans to study accounting on an academic scholarship at Brigham Young University this fall. Jared writes, One of the main lessons that I learned during my high school student-athlete experience is that the little things are sometimes the most important. These so-called little things may seem insignificant by themselves, but in reality, they can make or break a situation. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Jared Kaufman. From Kakana High School, our next honoree is four-sport athlete Alexa Kinnis, who has earned 14 varsity letters across golf, basketball, cross-country, and track and field. She was part of the first in school history cross-country state championship team her freshman year and holds the Kakana Ghosts school record in the 400-meter dash. She is a three-time track and field state qualifier, two-time team MVP, and received Fox Valley Association All-Conference honors three years in a row. An experience she says she'll never forget is the opportunity to work on a neighbor's farm while younger. She said it was rewarding to see how hard farmers work in order to provide for their communities. She'll attend Loyola University and play basketball on an athletic scholarship. She writes, My golf coach always said that, quote, playing under pressure is a privilege, end quote. I have learned to never take anything for granted, which I have discovered through injury and times of defeat. All of these experiences and lessons are essential for success in various aspects of my life. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Alexa Kinnis. From Alman Bancroft High School comes our next Scholar Athlete, Tanner Lamb. Tanner has earned nine varsity letters across football, basketball, and baseball, and as a senior led the Eagles to their first ever basketball state tournament appearance. He was voted the CWC South Co-Conference Basketball Player of the Year as a senior and Offensive Conference Player of the Year in football that same year. He is a three-time team conference champion in basketball, three-time team basketball most valuable player, and two-time baseball team MVP. He participated in his school's math league for four years and plans to study sports management at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. Tanner shares, I am responsible for my own actions. As a student athlete, I know I'm held to a higher standard than others, and I make sure to stay away from bad distractions. As a student athlete, I am a role model to other students, so set a good example. Be respectable in the classroom to my teachers and other classmates. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Tanner Lamb. Lodi High School's Mason Lane is our next Scholar Athlete. With 10 varsity letters, Mason's leadership propelled the Blue Devils to a state football championship his senior year, while also earning him both team and Capital Conference Player of the Year awards. Beyond the gridiron, Mason earned back-to-back -back trips to the individual state wrestling championship his junior and senior year, and also received the Conference Player of the Year award in wrestling as a senior. Outside of school and sports, he loves to hunt and fish and is an active volunteer at youth sports camp in Lodi. He plans to study business at UW-Madison, where he is a preferred football walk-on. Reflecting, Mason writes, 
One of the most valuable lessons I learned is that even if you do everything right, things may not go as planned. I spent years training to be a wrestling state champion, and I fell just short of that goal my senior year. What I have realized is it's not only about the end result, but about the entire journey and process that allowed me to compete at that level. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Mason Lane. With a 4.0 grade point average, our next Scholar Athlete from Aquinas High School in La Crosse is David Moline. David clinched back-to-back -back state wrestling championships his junior and senior year and is a four-time Mississippi Valley All-Conference selection in the sport. On the football field, David helped the Blue Golds make history by winning three state championships. Earning 11 varsity letters, he also helped secure his school's record in the 4x100-meter relay and contributed to a team state track and field championship as a freshman. He participated in IMPACT for three years and plans to study biology while wrestling at the University of Wisconsin. David reflects, the most important skill I learned through my academic and athletic career is trusting the process. A student athlete goes through many highs and lows. If you consistently show up every day with a great attitude and willingness to work, you will get better, even if the results do not feel that you are. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, David Moline. From Boston High School, Scholar Athlete Brock Massey has earned 10 letters in football, basketball, and baseball. The 4.0 student is a three-time South Central Conference selection in both basketball and baseball and was part of the conference champion basketball team his junior year. The Golden Eagle is a three-time Conference Player of the Year, receiving the honor during his junior year of basketball and baseball and senior year of football. Brock says he is very proud of the two years he spent teaching children baseball and softball for Boston Parks and Rec. He hopes to study astrophysics at a school yet to be determined. Reflecting on an important lesson he has learned, Brock shares, In high school sports, you're met with adversity all the time. Whether it is if you're losing a game, someone gets hurt, the weather doesn't play to your favor, you have to overcome it through being resilient and almost carefree. Having a carefree attitude is about thinking, no matter what happens, I'm going to try my hardest and be my best. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Brock Massey. Our next scholar athlete from Gillett High School is 4.0 student Ben Machek. Ben has earned 11 varsity letters across cross country, basketball, football, and track and field, and is a three-time state qualifier on his track team's 4x800 relay. He is a three-time Marinette and Ocado all-conference selection in track and field, and as a senior, was welcomed into the Gillette Tigers 1,000-point club in basketball. He also received team basketball MVP honors as a sophomore and senior. In his free time, he helps ref and coach youth basketball tournaments at his school. He plans to study finance on an academic scholarship at UW Lacrosse. Reflecting on high school, Ben writes, I learned the importance of perseverance. Overcoming hurdles has taught me that with dedication and hard work, I could tackle any obstacle. Secondly, I learned about the power of teamwork. Working within a team environment, whether in the classroom or on the field, taught me not only to communicate effectively, but also listen to others' ideas and support my teammates. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Ben Machek. From D.C. Everest Senior High School, our next Scholar Athlete is Sarah Melodic. With a 4.0 GPA, Sarah has earned seven varsity letters in cross country and track and field. She led the Evergreens to a team state championship in track and field her freshman year and followed with a Division I individual state cross country championship title as a junior. First in her class, she is a four-time Wisconsin Valley Conference cross country champion and received all state track and field honors in the 1600 and 3200 meter races her junior year. 
At her school, after seeing uneaten fruits and vegetables being thrown away, she created the Donation Station, which allows unwanted food to be saved and donated to students who may not otherwise have access. She'll study materials science and engineering while participating in cross-country and track at UW-Madison on academic and athletic scholarships. Sarah writes, While taking academically rigorous courses, I learned that taking on a challenge and not being afraid to make mistakes leads to a stronger understanding of the curriculum. In distance running, racing has taught me that success comes not only from physical endurance, but also from mental perseverance. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar-Athlete, Sarah Melodic. Catholic Memorial High School's Sean Nicholas is our next Scholar-Athlete. Sean has earned 12 varsity letters across five sports, including track and field, cross-country, soccer, football, and basketball. A 4.0 student, the Crusader is a three-time state qualifier, making it to state in football, cross-country, and track and field, including a second-place finish in the 3,200-meter relay his freshman year. Sean helped his football team earn a sectional championship his junior year and was awarded Team MVP soccer honors as a senior. He also helped his football team win two Classic A Conference championships in football as a junior and senior. He has enjoyed his senior internship at Wisconsin Metal Parts, saying it has led to a lot of professional and personal growth. He plans to study business on an academic scholarship at Marquette University. Reflecting, Sean writes, I can fully appreciate all my teachers and coaches that imparted wisdom and encouragement to push me to my full potential. Their continual support helped me persevere and manage a heavy workload in the classroom and in athletic endeavors. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar-Athlete, Sean Nicholas. First in his class with a 4.0 grade point average and 11 varsity letters, South Milwaukee's Connor O'Donnell is our next Scholar-Athlete. A four-time individual sectional champion and state qualifier in wrestling, the Rocket also received his Team Most Valuable Player Award in wrestling four times, as well as the Woodland Conference MVP Award his junior year. In soccer, he was voted Team Most Valuable Player as a junior and senior. He plans to double major in pre-med and sports medicine while wrestling at Brown University. Reflecting on lessons learned, Connor shares, The most important lesson I have learned is how to bounce back when faced with adversity. The ability to confront a problem, accept failure, and then focus on the next task is important when looking forward in life. As many of my coaches say, coaching is not necessarily to make the best athletes, but to make each athlete the best person they can be. This mentality shows the true beauty and power behind sports. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Connor O'Donnell. Our next scholar athlete is Plymouth High School's Owen Plate, who has earned 10 varsity letters in soccer, tennis, and football. A three-time state qualifier in tennis, the Panther earned both team and East Central Conference MVP honors his sophomore year. On the soccer field, he was a member of the state runner-up team his senior year and is a three-time all-conference kicker in football. He has also earned first-team all-state kicking honors his junior and senior year. When not studying or on the field or court, Owen enjoys volunteering as a buddy with Night to Shine, a program that provides a prom night experience for people with special needs. He plans to study environmental science at UW-Madison. Owen shared, Through sports, I have learned to take failures, overcome them, use them to fuel questions, and push myself to not make the same mistakes in the future. This ability to quickly bounce back from adversity will continue to benefit me in the future to not let impediments divert my course. Through failure, I was immediately shown that there is a better way to do things than my current strategies. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Owen Plate. Eli Prokop from St. Croix Falls High School is our next scholar athlete. 
Eli earned 11 varsity letters across football, wrestling, and baseball. He helped the Saints earn a trip to state in baseball his sophomore year and a state championship his junior year. He was an individual and team state qualifier in wrestling his sophomore year, a state runner-up in team wrestling his senior year, and captain of his regional champion football team his senior year. He was a four-year member of the FFA and plans to study cardiac sonography on an academic scholarship at Western Technical College and UW Lacrosse. Eli writes, Through high school athletics, I have learned that hard work, grit, and perseverance are extremely important. And if you put in the work, you will reap the rewards. I held myself to high standards, both in the classroom and athletically, because both are equally important. I have also learned to be selfless and that everyone has their own unique skill sets and abilities. And if combined selflessly, amazing things can be created. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Eli Prokop. From Flambeau High School in Tony, our next scholar athlete is Kevin Ross. This nine-time letter winner is also three-time Team Golf Most Valuable Player and was named the East Lakeland Conference Golf Co-Player of the Year as a freshman. During his junior season, he earned a trip to the state golf tournament while also helping his team earn a conference championship. In basketball, the Falcon and his team brought home a conference championship his sophomore year. In his spare time, he enjoys coaching third through fifth grade boys basketball. He plans to study elementary special education on an academic scholarship while playing golf on an athletic scholarship at Viterbo University. Reflecting on a lesson learned, Kevin shares, During golf my sophomore year at sectionals, I had the worst round of golf ever. I decided to work really hard in the off season. When my junior year came around, I was able to shoot my lowest round at sectionals and advance to state. I have learned through sports the importance of never give up, to persevere. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Kevin Ross. First in her class and a 4.0 student, Slingers, Violet Schulteis has earned seven varsity letters in cross country and track and field. She led her OWL cross country team to a state runner-up trophy as a junior and followed with a team state championship her senior year. She is a four-time first team North Shore all-conference recipient in cross country and earned team MVP honors in track for freshman through junior seasons. A favorite volunteer memory is leading her church's $100 project where they created foster care kits for children in her community. She received an academic and athletic scholarship to Winona State University, where she plans to run cross country and track while studying exercise science. Violet shares, among the lessons I've learned to stand out prominently, the importance of collaboration and the crucial need for adaptability when faced with setbacks. The significance of teamwork became evident early on through my experiences on the track and cross country teams. Despite their appearance as individual activities, these sports are deeply rooted in the collective efforts of teammates. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Violet Schulteis. From Rice Lake High School, our next scholar athlete is Eliana Shepley. Eliana is a three-time state champion in the 400-meter dash and currently holds the state record. Earning 11 varsity letters throughout her career, she also brought home a state championship in the 200-meter dash as a sophomore. The 4.0 student is the Warriors' all-time leading scorer in basketball, and she helped her volleyball team earn a sectional championship as a junior. She has received nine Big Rivers All-Conference honors across volleyball, basketball, and track and field. Outside of school and sports, she says her faith and family are incredibly important to her, and she enjoys wake surfing and swimming in her free time. She plans to study business at the University of Northern Iowa while participating in basketball and track on an athletic scholarship. She writes, Sports are like life. We have ups and downs, wins and losses but we can enjoy the journey and learn along the way. We will not always get to compete how we want, but we can be grateful for the learning that comes with the journey. 
Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Eliana Shepley. Our next honoree is three sports scholar athlete Tegan Strite from Edgar High School. First in his class with a 4.0, the Wildcat has earned nine varsity letters across football, basketball, and track and field. As a junior, he was a three time medalist at state track and field and was also voted the Merrillwood Conference Track and Field Most Valuable Player that same year. As a senior, he helped lead his football team to a championship trophy at state. He has volunteered for the Edgar Area Flag Football League for the past six years, serving as a role model and leader for younger kids in his area. He plans to major in education at UW Lacrosse. Tegan shared, of all the lessons I have learned from my teachers, coaches, and parents, the two most important are time management and leadership. I lead by example and vocally when needed. Leading by example is a value that is understated and undervalued in today's society. Integrity is the truest form of leadership. People can see it, they know it, and they appreciate it. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Tegan Strite. Bonduel High School's Haley Thompson is our next Scholar Athlete. Haley earned 11 letters in basketball, volleyball, and softball, and is a six-time Central Wisconsin Conference East All-Conference selection. She was part of the regional champion volleyball team her junior year and is a three-time MVP and received Conference Player of the Year her senior year while also achieving 2,000 career assists. On the softball field, the Bonduel Bear is a three-time team MVP and also took home the CWC East Conference Most Valuable Player Award her junior year. During the summer, she volunteers at her community's youth softball and basketball programs and says it brings her joy knowing she can help kids mold into better athletes. She plans to double major in sports marketing and leadership at Lakeland College while playing softball and volleyball on an academic scholarship. In her essay, Haley shared, I have grown to learn that family and the support behind me is one of my biggest blessings. Having supportive people in both my academic and athletic careers has helped me recognize that no matter what the circumstance is, if I put my mind to it, I can accomplish it. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Haley Thompson. Our next scholar athlete, Krivitz High School's Tegan Werner, has earned 11 varsity letters across football, basketball, and baseball. The Wolverine helped his basketball team win three Marinette and O'Connell Conference championships during his sophomore, junior, and senior seasons. And as a junior, Tegan received both conference and team MVP honors. He also reached the 1,000-point milestone in basketball his junior year. On the baseball field, Tegan received All-State Honorable Mention as a freshman while also being voted Team MVP his freshman and junior seasons. In his free time, he has enjoyed teaching kids in his community the fundamentals of basketball as a youth basketball referee. He plans to study civil engineering at a school yet to be determined. Tegan writes, Perseverance is the biggest lesson I have learned. Life is not easy. School gets hard. Certain subjects may be a challenge. Injuries may happen in sports. No matter what it is, I know that in order to be successful, you cannot shy away from these things. Rather, push through and try your best to overcome the obstacles. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Tegan Werner. From Milwaukee King High School, our last, but certainly not least, scholar athlete is a 4.0 student, Ben Wozniak. Ben qualified for the state swimming and diving meet three consecutive seasons in the 500 free and 200 free. He is a five-time Milwaukee City Conference team champion with the Generals, three times in baseball and twice in swimming and diving. First in his class, he also received conference MVP awards during his sophomore, junior, and senior year of swimming and diving, and brought home six all-conference selection honors, three in baseball and three in swimming and diving. 
Outside of school and sports, he is a lifeguard and was able to use his first responder skills to calmly care for a fellow teammate during an accident. He'll study nursing on an academic scholarship at either UW-Madison or the University of Minnesota. Ben writes, Swimming and baseball have always been instrumental points in my life, orchestrating a symphony of relationships, competitiveness, and stability for me. My high school experience in Milwaukee highlighted the systematic sufferings of some friends and classmates. Playing sports and recognizing these inequities solidified my desire to give back to urban communities through health care. Congratulations, 2024 WIAA Scholar Athlete, Ben Wozniak. And now, let's give one final round of applause to all 32 WIAA Scholar Athletes for 2024. Congratulations, Scholar Athletes. Outstanding. I can't think of a better class that we have had. At this time, I'd like to call on Stephanie Hauser to make a special presentation. On behalf of the WIAA, we want to welcome Joe and thank him so much for spending his day with us, sharing his story. What an inspiration it was. Um, I'll never, the word self will never be the same for me to have so much more deeper meaning. And we heard that in the words of so many of the kids today in their video. Joe, on behalf of us, we'd like to honor you with, with this honorary Scholar Athlete Medal. Before I go into some concluding remarks, we have found a cell phone. So I'll have it up here. It's got a gold casing to it, just in case anyone is missing theirs. We'll have it for you up here. But this concludes our awards presentation. Please make note that a video replay of today's awards program will take place on Sunday, May 12th at 1 p.m. across the statewide ABC affiliates, including WKOW, WAOW, WXOW, WQOW, WVTV, and CW14. We now ask our scholar athletes to please gather for the group photo just outside the auditorium here. Parents are welcome to take photos after our professional photographer has completed her work. Refreshments are available outside in the gathering area while you're waiting for the photo shoot to be completed. Again, all scholar athletes will be emailed instructions for downloading these uh, photos within two weeks, and there is a postcard in your packet helping you with that. Thank you all for attending today. Have safe travels and a great trip home. Congratulations again to the 2024 WIA Scholar Athletes. And Joe, thanks so much for being a part of things. 